Hello everybody, my name is Alex and I'm a DevOps engineer at Singlet. In this quick demo, I'm going to show you a few straightforward use cases for Azure DevOps pipelines. In this repo, you can see we have a pipeline, shell script, and a text file. The pipeline itself consists of several stages, each executing a script. Here you can see the run of the pipeline that has executed successfully with each stage of the pipeline completed. The first stage should just print out hello world on the screen. We see here in the logs, hello world is printed on the screen. Just as you would expect to see locally in a console, when you type echo hello world, you just get printed hello world in the console, exactly the same. The second stage takes a file and prints each line. Here in the stage, we can see each line of the file printed in the console. Again, exactly the same as you would expect it locally in a console. Stage three executes a script that prints out date and time on one line, only the date on the second and time on third. Again, we go to the logs and we see on the first line, date and time, date formatted in a specific way on the first line and then time on the next. The fourth stage executes a shell script file. Just as you would execute an inline script here, you can just execute a shell script file. We go back to the logs. And we see here that the script shows us that in this sample text file, there's 97 lines. Here is the last line in the file. And expected number of lines is 97. There is absolutely no difference between what you would do on your local machine in a console and executing scripts, writing scripts, writing lines of code. You can do this exactly the same in a pipeline. It doesn't matter the complexity or the function of the code, what it does, what you expect it to do, and so on and so forth. There is absolutely no difference between executing scripts in a pipeline compared to locally. Thanks for watching.